God's immediate prompt attention and response. So we're going to be praying together in just one moment. I need you to wake up uh, your loved ones, your relatives, and those in whom you are concerned about. I woke up this morning to over 5,000 names of people who are saying, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, that's standing in the need of prayer. I need you to hurry up, tag somebody, text somebody, call somebody, tell them every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. Oh, we're going to be right here. People are logging in from Zambia, from Tanzania, from South Africa, from South Carolina, from Colorado, from Georgia, from Maryland, from Virginia. I need you to be a part. Why? Because no matter where it is that you are, heaven is listening. I'm in the middle of a series called Word is Bond because we're living in a culture and in a season and environment whereby people's word doesn't mean anything. They'll say it, but they'll never stand by it. The thing that you have to love about the Lord is that he always stands on his word. And I believe that the word of God is true for your life and that everything that he's promised you is about to come to pass. I want to pray with you. And while it is that I was out uh, doing four miles this morning, uh, God said, uh, I need you to uh, be a spiritual cardiologist and deal with what's going on on people's hearts so much going on in your heart and you forgot that Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in the Father, believe also in me. So much is going on in your heart, pulling on your heart, pressure is on your heart. I don't want you to have heart failure. I'm not talking about heart attacks, I'm talking about heart failure where you stop believing. We start, stop expecting, stop trusting. God knows I don't want you to get to that brink where you stop loving. I need God to touch our hearts. I know so many of you have got some fiscal concerns and challenges and occupational pursuits in which you're going after an educational thrust in which you're trying to obtain. But today I want to pray for your heart. Would you do me a favor? I'm going to pray for you. I want you to lay hands on your heart because there's so much pushing on it. There's so much that is clogging it, so much that is straining it. I want you to lay your hands on your own heart today. Those of you who are online, I want you to put hearts on the screen if this resonates with your spirit. God, I come to you today because I need you to give us a peace that passes all understanding. I need you to touch hearts because we're right on the edge of becoming bitter, of becoming angry, of becoming uh, vengeful. I need you to touch hearts because so many of us who are tapped in were unable to sleep last night because of what has occurred in previous days. Touch hearts because our hearts are strained because of somebody who we care about, somebody who we love, somebody who we are concerned for. God, I am asking you to touch our heart so that we would in fact find the joy that is unspeakable. I need you to touch our heart so that we would have enough room for forgiveness and compassion. I need you today to touch our hearts so that we can finally let go of what we have been unhealthily holding on to. I need you to touch our hearts so that we have room to believe in something that is new, something is novel, and something in which we have never experienced. Touch our hearts today so that we can see the good in evil people. Touch our hearts today so that we can see our hearts when it is that we look out the window about what other people are doing, but fail to look in the mirror to see what we are doing. Touch our hearts so that we can extend ourselves to somebody who's going through, but we don't have the words, the wisdom, or the counsel to help them. I need you, God, 
to touch hearts, touch the heart of somebody who's laid up in a hospital, somebody who is in hospice, and all the more, somebody who is at home who is afraid to go seek out care. God, I need you to touch the heart of some angry child. Touch the heart of some frustrated senior. Touch the heart of some unmotivated millennial. Touch the heart of some burdened baby boomer. Touch the heart of somebody who is joyless in Gen Z. God, I need you to touch hearts and I need you to do it now. Touch our hearts so that we will have the gumption to go forth, the buoyancy to bounce back. Touch hearts so that we will know in no uncertain terms because you are for us. It don't even matter who is against us. It's in your name, Jesus, the son of the living God that we pray, amen. Friends, tonight at 7.30, I'm gonna be teaching about bonds, about bonds and the bond that you have that is unbreakable, the covenant that you have that is unshakable. The commitment that you have that is unwavering. At 7.30 on the platform that you're watching me right now, I'm going to be doing that. I want to challenge you right now as you get your kids ready for school, as you uh, jet out to work, as you prepare for your day. For those of you who are even working at home, I want to challenge you to give a seed of just $17 on today. You'll give a seed. All of our giving uh, options are available, uh, new birth. Uh, dot org. You're able uh, to do that. Uh, go to I Give La Five. Those of you on Cash App, uh, ask that you will please uh, govern yourselves accordingly. Ask that you'll give a seed of $17. Your pastor loves you. I'm praying for you. I'm cheering for you. And I believe that the best is yet to come. You don't have uh, 